Hey guys, even here and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates at 11 days out of New York Pro, we got a physique update, actually two shots, this one and side chest of Nick Walker, so let's check it out, let's see what Nick looks like at this point of his prep at the very end, uh, he says I'm not here just to win, I'm here to make it very clear. What does he mean by that? He means he wants to make it clear that he's coming strong to the Mr. Olympia and that he wants to become the best bodybuilder in the world to win the Mr. Olympia, not just to win the New York Pro and qualify for the Mr. Olympia. That's too easy for him. This guy's a top level bodybuilder and in my opinion, the way he looks right now, I don't see him placing out of top three at the Mr. Olympia. Even though there are three guys who are very good, let's say on the same level as Nick, top level, the top tier bodybuilders, of course, Samson, Derek and Hadi, and I think all three of them have better structure than Nick Walker, but I doubt that all three of them are gonna be that much on that Nick can't take them. If Nick is 100% at the Mr. Olympia, and I believe he will be, I think there is a big chance of him defeating all of these guys more genetically blessed than him in terms of structure. With this kind of muscle, with this kind of conditioning, with this kind of hardness, graininess, fullness, roundness, and completeness, I think there is a big chance of him winning or at least placing in that top three, which is an amazing success, especially today. But I think he wants to hear it. He wants to win and that's it. Everything below that is a failure for him, I think. Now, at 11 days out of New York Pro, I think he is pretty much ready. I don't think there is any more work to be done, really. He needs to just rest his body, freshen up his body. I don't think he needs to work on conditioning anymore. I think this is pretty much it. All he needs to do right now, really, is, you know, rest up a little bit, do a peak week, maybe dehydrate a little bit towards the end and carb up a little, you know, just to peak well, but even if he walked out on that stage looking exactly like this, just with some tan on, I don't think there is a chance of anybody really challenging him, not at this show. The chest looks really full, really separated as well, it was a weak point for him at some point uh, long ago, maybe a couple of years ago, but now it looks really good, like there is separation in the lower chest, which means his conditioning is very good, I think it was a chest day before he took this photo, because his chest is blasting full right here, arms of course, good as always, shoulders round, abs looking very nice, tight, Here's the other shot, side chest, unfortunately we cannot see the legs, he is hiding them for some reason, if he felt confident about his legs, he would probably just show them, but he's probably holding some water in that area, it's usually how it goes when you're doing a lot of cardio, when you're you know, pushing for conditioning, your legs are the last body part, maybe he trained them also like the day before, his last workout, I don't know, maybe they're just uh, inflamed, uh, I don't know, but I think his legs are going to be much better than they ever were before on that stage, but here we can see his upper body, it's looking very good, the fullness is there, the conditioning is on, this guy is coming really strong, and as he says, he is going to make a statement. Only a couple of minutes ago, he made this new post, in which he says, 11 days, the clock is ticking, 11 days to make each day better, 11 days to keep the mind right, 11 days to stay focused, 11 days to push a little harder, 11 days to bring out every possible detail that I can right now, 11 days until I become champion. I wouldn't necessarily call Nick Walker a poet, but uh, when he writes these kind of captions, you can see that it's coming from his heart, and he's one of those few bodybuilders who are really, really in bodybuilding with all of their heart, you know, I would say Nick, Hardy, as far as Derek and Samson and everybody else at the Mr. Olympia, really, you don't get to that level without being super passionate, of course, but I think Nick and Hardy also are standing out in this regard, and that's why I'm such a big fan of Nick Walker, not just because of his freaky physique, but because of his mindset, because of his passion, because he loves bodybuilding so much, and you can see it, you can feel it. And you can most certainly see it in his physique. And 11 days from now, he is going to get that easy win another New York Pro ring. And then, in a couple of months after that, he will do the Mr. Olympia. You guys tell me down below, not if you think he's gonna win the New York Pro. We all know that already, that's in the books. You tell me what do you think he can do at the Mr. Olympia looking like this. 
Maybe we should wait to finally see him on stage and wait for him to make that statement officially, but I think we can get a pretty good idea based on these physique updates, and I think, as far as Mr. Olympia, he is definitely a threat to that title. Alright, next up, we got a very interesting physique update from Samson Daura at the Oxygen Gyms in Kuwait, and some of you guys might remember this spot right here as the magic mirror in Kuwait Gym, in Oxygen Gym, and as you can see, Samson here, I mean, usually guys here look 10 times better than they actually look, but not in Samson's case, honestly, I'm not super impressed with this physique update, and that's most likely because he was off the entire time since the Arnold UK, I believe so, that's the way he used to do things so far, once his season is over, he goes off of everything, and they say he's going literally off of everything, he's not cruising or anything like that, I think he goes truly off, I guess he does a PCT and he stays off of everything, he doesn't take anything, and I would believe it, because he did lose a lot of that hardness, a lot of that fullness that he had when he was competing, so yeah, I think this is normal for Samson, he usually does look like this uh, two months after the show, a month or two months, soon we're gonna see him at the Pittsburgh Pro Guest posing, and I think last year also he wasn't exactly on, he's gonna look bigger, because I'm sure he gained some size, because he's not dieting anymore, but is he gonna have that pop, is he gonna have that fullness, that roundness, that hardness, that comes with, uh, you know, supplements, no, no, because as you can see right here, he definitely does look softer, flatter, smoother, and I think it's actually a good idea, I mean, you can only peak so many times in a year, and if you are looking amazing the entire year, how many times in a year can you actually peak then with your look? I think he didn't go off after the Mr. Olympia because he competed at the Arnold Classic, maybe for a short little time, but I don't know about that, now he has enough time, he can rest up a little bit, let his body recover, refresh, and I think about now, maybe in a couple of weeks, or he already has started a new cycle, just like Hari Japan, who announced that his off period is over, and that he started his cycle, so I think Samson is gonna start either now, or in a week or two, because Mr. Olympia is coming soon, so he better start and, and stay focused, because... Mr. Olympia this year is gonna be tough, and we don't know who is prepping Samson right now, it's gonna be his wife or somebody else, we don't know, uh, but it's definitely gonna be interesting to see what he can bring without Milos to Mr. Olympia stage. Now, in my previous video, I spoke about Samson blocking Dennis James, Chris Cormier, and Milos Sharchev, I wasn't sure why, I thought maybe it made sense for Milos, but I didn't know why Dennis or Chris Cormier, and then somebody sent me something very interesting. Two weeks ago, Milos Archer posted some podcast on German, I believe, where Patrick was speaking about Milos' protocols, that's not the topic here, but this guy, just a random guy, commented, as everybody does on every single Samson post, uh, Patrick was trained by Samson's wife. It's an ongoing joke, because Samson spoke so many times about his wife prepping him for this show, for that show, and you know, it became a joke, ongoing joke, it's a funny one if you ask me, I don't think Samson should be offended, it's just a joke, and Chris Cormier also replied here, and he <laughs> said hashtag popcorns, meaning he's entertained by all these uh, funny comments about Samson and his wife, but as you can see right here in the comments, he pulled a uh, Will Smith, if this was in person, would he slap Chris Cormier? <laughs> he says, keep my name and my wife out of this, kid, keep my name and my wife out of this, you little piece of... As you can see, yeah, Samson is definitely not taking this lightly. The first comment is obviously directed to this, this guy who commented this post, but the second one, he didn't tag anybody, or maybe he tagged Chris Cormier, and the tag was lost because he blocked him in the meantime. I'm not sure about this. I can only see the comment, and he's not really tagging anybody. Anyways, it doesn't matter who he said this to, the point is, he doesn't find these comments amusing, he's definitely taking offense. And that's why he blocked Chris Cormier, I'm pretty sure. But if you guys have any ideas, tell us down below in the comment section. Alright, next up, in about 5 weeks, I believe now, we're gonna have Spain, Ampro Cup Spain, and Behrus Tabani is gonna compete over there against some really good bodybuilders. For example, William Bonac is coming back at that show, and Michael Krieger is competing as well. 
But I gotta tell you, Bekrus Tabani is looking really freaking impressive right now. Check out this photo. Look at that freaking chest, man. This guy, with his fullness, roundness and hardness, even though he never got the visa to compete at the Mr. Olympia, I think he is definitely one of the top 10 bodybuilders in the world right now. Can he beat William Bonek and Krizio? I don't know. I mean, I don't necessarily see him beating Krizio. Maybe Bonek, if Bonek is not really fully recovered and at his 100%. But right here, Tabani is looking amazing. But the thing you're probably wondering is what about his legs? He's not showing them here. And yeah, his legs are. He's, well, only weak point, really. Let me show you. Milo Archer just posted a physique update, not under some crazy lighting or with a pump and stuff like that. I'm guessing this is faster in the morning because he took this at home. And yeah, this is looking very good. And I don't know if I would say that his legs are looking like a weak point, or really, anymore. I mean, would you? Would you notice? Maybe when he stands next to other people and they have bigger legs. But honestly, here, his lower body looks just as good as his upper body. And his upper body is looking insane. So I think if he is dialed in completely, and he really usually is, he's always in great shape. I think he probably can beat Krizio, because Krizio does have quite a few flaws that can be exposed by a really good bodybuilder. People like to criticize him for his weaknesses, but really, he is 7th best bodybuilder in the world right now. He was 7th at the Mr. Olympia, so Krizio, I'm sure he's gonna look amazing, but Bakrus Tabani is looking really freaking good. And I'll tell you one thing, guys, he's gonna be ripped. He is gonna be ripped to shreds. On that stage, he is always shredded. You can see right here, he is already pretty much very lean. He's just holding some water, really. I mean, I don't see a lot of fat. And the guy is basically known for conditioning. So in six weeks, he can get shredded, completely shredded, and just look crazy, look amazing. And that's exactly what's gonna happen. Do I have him as the favorite to win this show? I mean, he's definitely the underdog, because Krizio is, again, 7 at the Mr. Olympia. But Bekrus is bringing something truly special. He's bringing some crazy improvements. And I don't know how improved Krizio can be, or if William Bonner can come and look his absolute best. So I feel like this guy has some really good chances of winning the Emperor Cup Spain. What do you guys think? Tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And for more bodybuilding content like this, guys, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best and bye-bye.